Right. the deal. Are they here? I don't know. You don't know. Can't even tell. We gotta go. We gotta go now, Ray. Seriously, sun's going down, man. in the streets now? Maybe it's one of ours. The Army never used abandoned vehicles as roadblocks. It's theirs. There are no abandoned vehicles before they got here. Oh, I knew we shouldn't have come into the city. I fucking said it, didn't I? I said we shouldn't come into the city. But what the fuck was your problem? Hey, leave them alone, Eric. You could all be dead in the next 15 minutes because this idiot just had to come in and check on people he knows are dead. Eric, leave them alone, all right? You know what happened to your family. He deserves the same. I just saw one. Where? Just past it. Keep driving. Oh, how can they be out yet? It's not even nightfall. Tall buildings create a lot of shadows. They can get out earlier. What do I do? Look for sunny streets. Here, turn right here. Keep going. Don't turn off till you're sure the way's clear. Oh, shit. You're right. I just saw two of them. Better get your game face on. This is my game face. Slow down. Slow down. I just want to get a look down the street. What do you think? It looks clear. All right, turn off then. Be quick here, it's not the brightest road. Which way? For God's sakes, don't go under it. Yeah, don't go under it. How we doing back there? I, I don't see anything. I, I think it's still too bright out. Billy. Billy! Oh shit, oh <laughs> You too, Carlos! Well? Uh, scratch what I said. What? They're coming. What's the verdict? Uh, I, I see two? More than two. Verdict is we're fucked if we don't get somewhere far away now. All right then. Exiting the city, right? Right? Oh, Jesus. I 
highway is not the safest place to be right now. Well, what do you suggest? Back road somewhere. I don't want to run into another one of those roadblocks. Not at night. You guys keep an alert back there? Yeah, yeah, we're alert. Alert as in eyes open and watching. <sighs> Fucking military so specific. Yeah, all clear, Chief. They ain't gonna be out here. They're concentrated in the cities and the towns. That ain't true. I told you where I came from. Goddamn farm. And it's caged like fucking chickens or cows or something. Cows aren't kept in cages. You know what I mean. These real chicken wire kept us penned in horse stalls. Horse stalls now? Get your story straight. Keeping us fed and watered. They were breeding us off, man. They were just waiting for all those women to catch pregnant so they could take the men one by one. As it was, somebody disappeared every night. The fucking lottery. How many were there? 30, 40. The only reason I got out is because one of them got hungry in the day. They kept guards on us inside the barn even during the day. Came in my pen and gr grabbed the guy next to me. Left the door open. So I sprinted. Got out in the daylight before they could get on me. You were lucky. I don't know. Being kept alive to breed? I can think of worse fates. Fuck off, asshole. I left my brother in there. Shit. Uh, there's something coming. What? I don't know. It's a bike. It was a car with a busted headlight. Turn us off next exit. I'm looking. Oh, we should have busted the taillights on this thing. Good idea. D do it. Yeah, all right. No, no, I'm serious. Do it. You do it. I'll hold you. Why can't I hold you? I'm heavier. Well, I'm stronger. If either one of you is going to do it, do it now before we reach the exit. And be quick. I want that back door open for as short a time as possible. Yes, sir. Do it. You do it. What are you doing? Grab hold of my belt before I open the door. Go ahead here. Fuck off. What? Tell her to ditch the bike or fuck off. Fuck, I want a bike. They can follow her scent. When you get that back door shut, you're painting a three-mile path to us, too. They can smell you. Lose the bike. Get in the van. You gonna stop first? She says stop. No. Look, just give me your hand. You're gonna jump. You cool with that? Not really. He's got me. I'll get you. Okay. On three. One. Exit coming up. I can't see! 
I don't suppose those are more humans back there? No. They've been chasing me since Barry. What were you doing in Barry? They're less dense there than they are in Toronto. Go in by daylight, pick a few of them off, get out again. What the fuck were you doing on a bike? You know how those things operate? You gotta keep a low scent profile, stay behind closed doors. You been in the big cities lately? We just came from one. You run into any of those barricades? Yeah. That's why the bike. Uh, speed up. Speed up an awful lot. Why? Because otherwise we die. I said faster! There is no faster! trying to kill him. I was trying to mess with the driver's head. Uh, I'd say you did. So do you think they'll keep following us? Vehicles out here are slim pickings. By the time they get into their upper running, we won't be anywhere around. You don't think maybe they're dead? I mean, the, the truck rolled. I don't think maybe they're even hurt. The truck didn't explode. They're not dead. Well, you got a name gunner girl? Vicky. Carlos. That's Ray. Eric. Bailey's our chauffeur, and Private Mitchell's out getting his gas. Sorry about your bike. You couldn't afford to stop. No, thank you for grabbing me in. Bike had enough gas in it to go for a while, probably, but I'm not sure that while would have been long enough. It was half empty when I left Barry. You looked like you had the situation under control. Yeah, with a shotgun, sure. It's kind of fucked on my own. Great for its intended purpose, not so hot for blowing away truck tires on the highway. And where was this highway taking you? Oh, my dad has this one. Your dad had? My wife had. My daughter had. That's, uh, why we were in Toronto. Checked on Bailey's and my family's earlier. Detroit. Save the big city for last. We were heading up north anyway, and we didn't run into many people. Nobody we knew. Nobody alive that we knew. Last I heard, they'd been taken into this shelter, west end of the city. They weren't there? I really hope not. My dad had a place up near Kincardine, and I was headed there. Kincardine? <laughs> Me and Amanda had a, a cottage and a boat up near Grand Bend. Just bought it last summer. Back when things first started getting bad, before the phone lines went down, that's where we intended to go. And she got taken into that shelter. 
Uh, so what were you doing messing around in Barry? Little revenge never hurt nobody. Why north? Less populated, colder. Mitchell thinks that if we can get up somewhere in the tundra that they won't come around. Nothing to eat up there, right? Nothing but you. Yeah, but we were thinking that it might not be worth their trouble. You know, because while they're hunting us, they're going hungry. Somewhere really cold, no animals. And what would you eat? I don't know. Fish? And you think they can't fish? They can drive a pickup truck, but they can't fish? They can come into your television and radio broadcasts, but they can't fish? You cut those two? Yeah, they stopped doing them because the power's down, I guess. Or because they know there's no one left to listen. All I'm saying is they can't do everything that we do. I've never seen one of them fire a gun. Mitchell says he has. Yeah. Mitchell says they were driving tanks when they rolled into town. Driving tanks and they just called off the attack after half an hour when it started pouring rain. That's bullshit. If they were afraid of a little rain, England would still be on the map. If they were operating tanks, why not fire a nuke? Why is anything left? Why would they nuke us? You don't nuke your food. Well, actually, in a microwave, you do... Okay, that is different. All I'm saying is, I've never seen one of them fire a gun. Just baseball bats and shit. That's not because they can't. It's because they choose not to. Why? They don't want to waste your blood. We know where it is. Up north just means you die cold. There is literally nowhere that you can go that they can't follow if they want to. We can try my dad's place. It's remote, and it has other benefits. Well, I should get away from the station right now. I sense all over the place out there. So, King Carter? That's where her dad's place is. No, it's north anyway. Gets us where we're going. I'm not holding up in some resort town, cottage, or farm. I'll drop you by daylight if you want, but then we're going on. I never said it was a farm. We're here. Thought you said it wasn't a farm. It's not. Yeah, what is it, a rural high-rise? Come on, I'll show you. No, our van needs gas. We should get it now while it's still daylight and keep going so we can stop again before nightfall. I don't want to pull another siphon job at night. Let me show you first. No, now! You come or you stay, but the rest of us oh, are going buddy. on. I was never in the Army, but I'm pretty sure that one stripe doesn't mean you're a colonel. I'm still the only one in this group with any kind of leadership training. Now, I say we get moving yeah, right Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what you say. You always say it so loud. All right, we're here. Let's check it out. Maybe we can stock up on some food. Is there food here? There's food. See, there's food. Food makes everything better. Could you use something to eat? Start the tour in the kitchen. So this is it. We got Chef Boyardee, a big screen TV that doesn't work anymore, two bedrooms, and a toilet that doesn't even flush. This is why we're wasting our day. The toilet out back works fine. Outhouse? Don't knock it. Plumbing may be down, but septic tank still works. Should still be stocked with toilet paper, too. We can wipe our asses? Well, why didn't you say so? That is worth stopping for. You know, you'd be less cranky if you ate something. 
Even Eric stopped whining. I'd be less cranky if we got moving. Now if our tour is done. It's not done. Living room, bedroom, outhouse. What more could there possibly be? NBC defense shed out back. B bomb shelter? Yes, ma'am. You think they're going to start shelling us? No. But I think it has its own oxygen filtration system and lead-lined doors. I think it's stocked with food and water. And I think it'll lock human body odor in airtight and give us a place to hole up in for a good long while. And I think someone owes someone an apology. Common room. Bedroom. Two beds. We could bring in more. Heart attack. Food storage. And bathroom. Shares a filter dump into the septic tank. Advantage keeps radiation and odor out. Who knew? Not exactly a five-star hotel. No, but she's right. Has everything we need. Fortified door. Your dad was paranoid. Thank God. Man after your own heart. It'd be nice to catch a nap outside a moving vehicle. Bomb shelter. These lights must have their own power source. There's a generator partition in the storage room. Should have enough gas to power the place for at least three weeks. Three weeks ain't a lot of time to stay covered in the amount of fallout. This place was only ever meant as a temporary solution in case of nuclear attack. My dad was an anxious man, but he uh, had faith in the government. Figured there'd be rescue teams and shelters set up soon enough. What happened to your dad? He died in one of those rescue shelters the government set up. Irony. Nothing ironic about it. Everybody died in those shelters. All right, here's my problem with this place. Mitchell, you always have a problem with any plan someone else comes up with. Maybe that is the problem. Just hear me out. Fuck. All right, I know it came down hard on this place from the start. I know it's not my plan to stay here, but my reasoning is valid. There's no way out of that shelter except for the way in. If we're discovered down there, we're trapped. Fucking cows in a slaughterhouse. No farm metaphors, please. But, Mitchell, that's exactly the point. If it's airtight, like she says, they won't find us. I don't want to go back in the van. I'm tired of the van. Containing our odors isn't enough. Why not? That is how they track us. Exactly! That's how they track us. You know what track means? It means they follow a scent. Follow a scent that you leave behind. That's what makes the van safe. They follow a scent to where you got into the van, but the van drove off during daylight. And provided it doesn't stop at a gas station in the middle of the night like an idiot, provided windows and doors stay shut, then there's no more scent for them to follow. If they pick up the scent here, in the house, in the driveway, in the grass, right here, and they come looking, where are we going to be? Bomb shelter is stationary. No driving it away. No escape. He's got a point. What? I thought you were on board. I am sick of the van, too, but he's got a point. If he's right, it means we can't stop for the night anywhere. Ever. It means we spend the rest of our fucking lives inside a moving vehicle. No, there is some place we can go. Up north, like I said. Goddamn military. Everything is fight or flight, really? There are millions of them by now. Maybe billions all around the world. So why just wait for them, huh? Food will run out. Water will run out. We'll have to move eventually. Eventually. Yeah, but not straight away. And meanwhile, I'm thinking exactly the same thing you are. The food will run out. For them. Jesus. 
If there are billions of them, she's right. What are they going to eat? There'll be nothing left to eat. Nothing but each other. They can live short term off animal blood. I've seen it, but I don't think it's just a, a taste thing that makes them go for humans. Dogs, other animals, they can't track them by scent the way they do us. My first night in Barry. Your first night. I went about <laughs> things a little wrong at first. I was kind of pissed. Anyway, there were hordes of them, so I buried myself under this pile of corpses because they seem to shy away from the meat after it spoils. Gee, I wonder why. And there was this dog. I could see him right across the way. They had chased him. I watched him run up and take cover. But when they came after, they couldn't find him. If that had been a person, they'd have found him straight away. But they can't track the animals, probably because they're not their natural food source. You see? They need us, but they fucked up. Because the only way that they could pull this off was to build an army large enough that they couldn't sustain it. Even if they pulled, like, a, a factory farm and ranched us up like cattle or... Please! Nine months to carry a baby to term. And then how many years until it's a viable meal source? I mean, the human population is way too thin by now. So if we can hold out, they'll decline. They'll turn on each other, eat each other, if that's possible. Or else they'll starve. Holy shit. Well, lucky I'm an omnivore. So maybe we should hole up here. Even if she's right, they're not gone yet. Right, they're gonna be out tonight and our scent's all over this place. There's no way of getting in that shelter without leaving that behind. Yeah, there is. I think I know why they called off that attack in the rain. Why? Why don't they hold a fox hunt directly after a storm? Because it's cruel, hopefully. Because a heavy rain washes away the scent of the quarry. So if we just wait for a rainstorm and pile in? This would be easier in Vancouver, but hey. Why don't we just watch the weather network? Okay, now what do we do in the meantime? I feel a lot more comfortable if we were moving. Well, there's no point driving if we have nowhere to drive to. Just give us a better chance of running into them, right? We have a clear view in every direction. They ain't getting near us without us seeing them a long way off. What the fuck? You were saying? Maybe it's a person. I mean, they don't use guns, right? Well, if it's a person, he's in a bad mood. Shit, they stole our trick. Just keep going. We're stuck. We ain't gonna get far and flat anyway. <laughs> oh, we ain't gonna get far and foot either. Windows were up. They couldn't have smelled us. They have eyes, Eric. They're supposed to be in the city. See? 200 meters, center of action. It's approaching across the field. Kind of wish you brought something with a little more range now, don't you? <sighs> Another feeling.
Get her under the beds. I'll get the power on. Hold this. Why is it partitioned? Keeps the noise down. We got power. You got a first aid kit down here? Something to disinfect with. Lose the pants. Privacy, please. Hoping for some late night television? No. What the fuck? The TV's working again. And you're watching a nature documentary? Cameras. I didn't see them when we came in. Doesn't do no good to take shelter if you don't know when the rescue party comes by. You expecting a rescue party? No. My dad was but it doubles nicely as security. We can keep an eye out for any of them approaching. Check it out. Picture in picture. Pretty sweet. This thing play DVDs? Computer could, I guess, if we had any down here, but unless you want to make a run into the house. You have a DVD system on your survival hut computer? Boredom is a shelterie's worst enemy. I just... I always figured that we'd have time to grab the entertainment before the fallout hit. My dad, uh, he used to say that... Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Why aren't you crying? I, uh, sorry, I didn't mean that as an insult, but I just... You found out yesterday about your wife and your daughter? I went by yesterday. To the shelter. Everyone was. There was nothing left. Just death. Just really bad death. I made them all wait in the van. They weren't gonna let me go in alone, but I made them. Why? I guess if I found them, you, you'd have joined them. I don't know if they're alive or dead. Or something else. I don't expect to ever see them again. So, why aren't you crying? Because I could be wrong. Because if I'm mourn them, it's like giving them up. You found yours, you should mourn. I'm not ready to give up my daughter yet. I'm my wife. Till I put my finger in the hole. <laughs> oh my god, um, I didn't mean for that to come out as weirdly pornographic as it did. It's a biblical reference. Um, doubting Thomas. Flawed metaphor. 
Thomas was hoping for evidence that Christ had come back from the dead. My fingers are kind of crossed in the opposite count. How is she? She lost a lot of blood. I got the wound covered. I think the blood flow is staunched. There's no exit wound. That bullet's still inside her. Can you get it out? I'm not a medic. I'm a rifleman. Trained to put bullets into people, not get them out. I covered her up, and that pretty much exhausts my education in medical matters. What's the consequence of leaving it in? Covered her up. You don't have to monitor it. There's a chance it won't be a problem. The body might accept the bullet. Or? It could reject it. And the wound was exposed to swamp water, so infection is a possibility, I suppose. Like could go septic, gangrene, tetanus, death. You a doctor? No. No, I was in IT. My wife was a nurse. You cleaned it? I wish I could. That's all we can do, I guess. Unless she wants some painkillers or something. She slipped her a couple already. She didn't like when I was poking around the wound, but the rest of the time she seemed to be okay. I'm gonna go back in, sit with her. What's this? Farm and Gardens Television. Uh, it's our security. Somebody gonna sit up and monitor? I will for now. Not quite unwound yet anyway. Sleeping arrangements? Take the other cotton there with her if you're gonna keep an eye on her. If we can wake Bubba's snooze button over here, we can lay out some more clothing for temporary bedding. If it's still raining come daylight, we'll slip into the house, grab another mattress or two. We should probably all get into dry clothing before turning in anyway. Good call. I'm cold. You just noticing? Yeah. Gotta love a job. You hold that post all night. She awoke me. I'd have taken a turn. How's she doing this morning? Bit of a fever. But she's asleep for the moment. I take it we had no visitors during the night. Nope. Bray's rain theory seems to be holding up. What'd you say about me? Said you snore too loud. Kept me up all night. We got breakfast appropriate foods down here? We've got can opener appropriate foods. Uni meal. Pancakes weren't exactly an Armageddon priority when we stocked up. And that can opener would be? A couple of them in there. Oh, you guys talking about pancakes? You got weird taste in movies for a chick. Fuck off. I like the social commentary. Oh, we are so watching this. That's just socially awkward. I want to thank you all for coming. We did not have a time to spend with you all here, but we're really excited to show you what we're working on. Ray, come look at this. Want I should pause it? No. If we're down here three weeks, we'll be watching it again anyway. Nice plie. Hey. Hey. You want to see something gross? Not really. <laughs> Nice bedside manner. I dare you to lick it. Well, fuck, Bailey. You got yourself one mean infection there. It's because we went through that swamp, isn't it? Probably. 
Well, not on the fact that you have a bullet lodged in your leg. Does it hurt? It's hot all the time, and yeah, it hurts if anyone touches it. You want me to drag you back out there so you can watch the rest of the show? What are you watching? A bunch of ten-year-olds dancing badly. <laughs> I'll pass. Can you just get me a book or something to read? I'll, I'll see what Vic's got. Thanks. So what's the deal? It's an infection, like I said. That's worrisome. The, the fever... Did you see those streak lines? It's spreading. So what do we do? Well, yeah, if there was still such thing as doctors, or better yet, no such thing as vampires, we'd get her to a hospital. She needs antibiotics, for one thing. Maybe Vicky has something in the house or uh, something? Yeah, ask. But those things are time-sensitive. You can't just keep them around indefinitely. And judging by how bad the infection is and how quickly it's spread, I think she's going to need a lot. Something, um... What's the term? Uh, broad spectrum. Because we don't know what we're dealing with. Broad spectrum. We talk to talk. You ain't a doctor? You pick stuff up. I used to like listening to my wife talk. Mitchell, the bullet has to come out. How? You, you go in through the hole, you, you pull it out, I, I guess. Pull it out with what? Mitchell, I don't know. What's the problem? <sighs> Bailey's leg's all fucked up. What happens if we do nothing? The infection keeps spreading. Eventually she'll die. Okay. We gotta get on this now. How? We have no vehicle. Do we? All right, then we get out and we look around. There were neighbors, right? Somebody might have left something behind. We get out now while it's daylight. Mitchell, it's not even raining. If we're right about that whole deal, we get out, we find a car, we get to town, get the stuff we need, get back. If it hasn't started raining by nightfall, we have left a clear scent bomb all around the neighborhood. I'm sure there aren't that many humans left around here. We leave a scent, we leave the only scent. We lost Eric last night? I'm not losing Bailey. It doesn't do her any good to get the leg cleaned up if she's eaten later on tonight because of it. Are you arguing about me? Get back in bed, Bailey. What's the problem? You need medicine. The boys were just discussing the most efficient way of getting it. Oh, there is no discussion. We go now, while it's daylight. Is it raining? But Bailey, it's... Then you wait. <laughs> Then you wait, Mitchell. I don't want to put every life here at risk. You joining us after all? Can you start it over? Sure. Right there, rain. All right, let's do this now, while it's daylight. It's the exact opposite of what my mother's having. Heading outside just as it starts to rain and just as it starts to get dark. How much daylight you figure we got? Less than an hour. Okay, we split into teams of two. Carlos, you're with me. We hit every house we find. Check medicine cabinets too. Get anything that might be of use. Whatever we do, we're back here before dark. Clear?
of the unluckiest two fuckers in the country. Considering we're one of the last few breathing in this country, I'd say that's a bit of an overstatement. An overstatement? That's the unluckiest fucker in the country. <laughs> no luck? I think everybody heeded the warnings, got through the shelters in the cities. Well, the fella who lost on this wasn't exactly the shelter-seeking type. Well, not to seek shelter. I was hoping we'd find a car or something so the four of us could go into town. Somebody's got to stay behind with Bailey anyway. It'll have to be you and Carlos. I think he's the only one who knows where the pharmacy is, and it looks like I'm the designated doctor. Well, listen, if it stopped raining by the time you get back... Yeah, yeah, we know. Back off. Get your own shelter. Take long? No. Some antibiotics, maybe some jaws. We need nothing else, right? You can get me a Snickers. Holler if you need anything. Bank on it.
How did it go? You got the drugs. Any problems? She loaded vampires in town. We got out, obviously. Now followed? No way. Straight roads most of the way, and we don't leave tracks on wet pavement. Be a dear. Get us some towels. Uh, right. Oh, okay. Somebody has some antibiotics. He's gonna give you. You don't look so hot. Funny. I feel very hot. Uh, that's because you have a fever. It's because I'm all pussy and infected and gross, right? And that's because you're shot. Mm. There's a hole in your leg, dear Liza, dear Liza. So should we get these antibiotics started? Uh, I can't yet. We gotta get the bullet up first. Why first? Because I didn't have time to find any kind of anesthetic, so we're gonna have to pull an old west maneuver here. I get to get really drunk? My dear, you get to get shit-faced. <laughs> Alcohol and antibiotics don't mix. And then, who's digging this bullet out of me? You're the most qualified. Lucky me. Getting me drunk just to get inside me. It's like high school all over again. She is gonna have one hell of a headache. Well, sure to hurt a hell of a lot less than this would have. I can't watch this. Go watch the monitors then. Ah, oh, it's fucking deep. Can you get it out? Well, I'm certainly not doing this for my enjoyment. Sorry. All right, I know where it is. I got it. It's so small. I'm sure Bailey would say otherwise. Gonna be okay? Bullets out. I doused some gauze and some hydrogen peroxide and back the wound, but until she wakes up and gets some medicine in her, she ain't gonna get on the mend. Get you anything, Doc? Do with the rest of that whiskey. Maybe some Coke. Whiskey, I can get you. The Coke. I should warn you that I've been to the storage room and it might be transparent, bubbleless, and water flavored. Uh, whiskey and water would be fine. I can stay for a while and keep an eye on the planet. Thank you.
Carlos? Carlos. Hmm? What? What time is it? Shh. How did that happen? Is it still night? What? Uh... The camera feeds down. Why? We don't know. <laughs> Shit. Is it the cameras outside or just the connection? I don't know. What's going on? Shit. How many hours till sunup? I don't know. Hour, hour and a half. I can't get the picture back. We don't know that it's them. I mean, There's it, only one way in this fun. place. If it is them and they want in, we're gonna have to do it before the sun comes up. So, oh, we're just gonna wait them out? Oh, I'm sorry, you got some place to be? Besides Dreamland? I'm sorry. It's been daylight for hours now. I don't hear rain. We open that door and it's not raining. We may have fucked ourselves. We need to know what's going on. Ordinarily, I'd be totally on board with the batten down the hatches philosophy, but we're blind. Maybe it was the wind. Wind didn't tear down all four cameras. Or steal the bike. It looks just like mindless vandalism. Maybe they didn't know we were here. I mean, they didn't even try to get in, right? They couldn't have if they tried. Not without explosives. The door's built thick. Maybe they knew that. Maybe they knew it wasn't worth the while to even try. No way. A, it's just not their style to leave without a fight. And B, there's no scent. We weren't followed. There's no way they could have known we were there. They must have just happened by and decided to trash the place. No. No what? No, they didn't just happen by. I guess he wasn't as dead as I gave him credit for. Or half the poet he claimed. <sighs> Why do you suppose they didn't attack? Could be they just got here too late. Didn't think they had time to finish the job. It doesn't jibe. If it was just a timing issue, they wouldn't have broken the cameras. Certainly wouldn't have left a message to let us know they know we're here. No, they'd have busted the cameras right before they attacked. Kept us in the dark about the whole thing. Maybe they were trying to scare us. Mission accomplished. No, scare us into leaving. Because they can't get in, right? They'll be back tonight. Question is, will we? I don't see as we have much choice. We've got no transportation and Bailey can't walk. We searched for over an hour and couldn't find no other cars around here. But we can't stay here. The door's built thick, but if they want in bad enough, they can get in. All they gotta do is truck back to Toronto, or one of the other places the military put up a stand. I think there's something you boys left behind. Yeah, how many of them are gonna know how to operate a Carl Gustav? Some of them are you, soldiers. Just a reminder. I mean, they drive tanks, right? You know, I don't get it. This whole place was your idea, and I finally concede to you that it was the right one. And now you want to split. My idea was to hole up and hide, not hole up and wait like a blood buffet. We have to get out of here. How? <sighs> hey, look, I'm sorry, OK? I'm not trying to get back into dictator mode. Bottom line is, I'm not leaving her behind, and we got no way out of here. Then we have to find one. Look, 
They know where we are, right? No point in worrying about scent trails anymore. We're fine by daylight. That gives us like six hours to find a way. We split up, we look for a vehicle. If we ain't found one by nightfall, we DD back here, get set for a siege. In the meantime, someone should stay behind and shore up the defenses. Sound like a plan? Well, it's infected. Hey, listen, some of us are gonna go get a car or something so we can get out of here. Why do we want to leave? The location may have been compromised. Hey, hey, it's okay. Right? It's broad daylight. Nothing's gonna hurt. We'll find something before nightfall. Here. Isn't that a lot? Oh, whip's got it covered. Ray thinks you need a big dose just to jumpstart things, so. Come on, big bites for daddy. Now, Carlos is gonna stay here, and he'll be in and out of the house grabbing something to build a barricade with. And I thought we were leaving. It's just in case. It's Tom, just in case. So, he'll be here if you need anything, okay? And he'll be making sure you take your medicine, too. So don't give him a hard time. Mitchell? I haven't thanked you yet for taking care of me. Being so good. It's okay, baby. Next time I get shot in the leg, I'm gonna make you do all the housework. Broad daylight, it'll just slow me down. If we're not back by nightfall, you'll need it more than me. Three hours. Then we start sealing the door. Make sure you're on the right side of it. Don't spend time searching places we already searched. You're good? Getting there. Okay. I'm gonna need tools. Thank you. 
because I just so damn. Checked it. Checked it. I left you open. What the fuck? Holy fuck.
I'll be lucky if I don't fry myself. Carlos? Carlos? pumping through my blood. I hope it poisons every one of you. Dumb are we? Spare tire would have been a good idea. I have to remember that the next time I'm fleeing vampires cross country. Found. How dumb are we? No luck? Found a boat. Guess we don't need it. Guess not. Looks like Mitchell hit gold, too. Ray. 
Come here. Deja shitty. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah. What? Well, it, it obviously wasn't them that drove it here. I mean, the, the windshield ain't a sun shield. Yeah. Come on. It's getting dark. Probably both locked out by now anyway. Or not. Guys. I'm gonna turn on the lights before we break our necks. I don't like this. Keeps the mosquitoes away. These aren't mosquitoes! We better hope it works the same on vampires. We've got like five minutes to live. They took the door off.
Miss Carlos. Must have been in the house the whole time. Must have been. Why'd they leave it then? Too easy. If we'd have known they were in there, we could have just burned the whole place down around them. Come on. Come on, where? Take you to that boat I found. You know how to sail? I told you. Like. 60 miles up the lake, we got a boat of our own. Link, well, come on, we'll get it back here, load it with supplies, and get out of here. What are you waiting for? I don't want to keep running. We went through this yesterday, and our situation is a lot worse. They took the door, they took our weapons, they wrecked the only two vehicles we managed to find. We can't stay here. I don't want to stay here. What do you want, then? Revenge. Ugh. Revenge? Fuck. Ray, let's just go. I mean, killing them accomplishes nothing. What will it mean if we kill off 10 or 15 out of several billion? It would mean something to Carlos. Bailey. Mitchell. Eric. Eric's one of them now. The only thing it would mean to him is a bad night. A little revenge never hurt nobody, right? I was angry then. Now I'm just tired. I'm scared. If you wanted revenge, why didn't you take it before? On behalf of your wife and your daughter. They're not dead. You don't know that. It's a choice. They're not dead. Until I see a body, they are not dead. Carlos, Bailey, Mitchell, Mitch, they're dead. I don't know how to qualify Eric, but whatever he is now, the before Eric, he won revenge. Not dead. What do you want to do? What should I bring? Food, just enough for a few days. Clothes. Oh, and the antibiotics. Tie it off here, angled out of the harbor. It's a good run back to the farm, so whether my plan works or not, be ready to sprint. Why not park it somewhere closer then? I can't. Both that size are beach and shallower water. Besides, I don't want them to see us. I want them thinking we're still in that shelter. Just before you think you're gonna puke, actually. 
Take a couple of these, too. What for? Just fucking trust me. <laughs> Fuck, Ray, I really have to go. I'm on a fresh scent here. Just give it five more minutes. <laughs> no. Fine. Wait outside. For Christ's sake, Vicky, we spent last night together <sighs> naked. We're about to get naked together again. What difference does it make? Some things a girl does in private. <sighs> so, I don't get it. Why do we have to pop the antibiotics? Never mind. Your turn. But now, we're just on the run again. No, we're not. We've got a destination and a plan. At least I do. 
Care to fill me in? I'm gonna head on down to my cottage in Grand Bend. And then? Then I'm gonna find him. More revenge? No. No more revenge. I'm done with that. What then? Amanda and Rachel. Your wife and daughter. They're alive, Vicky. It's a choice. They're still alive. And if they're not? And they're dead. Even if I have to kill them. 